Hey y'all, today we've got a couple of smaller chunks of lesson that we're going to do through a couple of videos. So this first one, we are going to talk about formulating three by three systems of equations. So that long word formulating just means that we're going to take words and we're going to put them into math sentences. So since this does say three by three equations, that means that each problem, we're going to come up with three equations that have three variables. So the very first thing we're going to need to do after we read through the problem is identify what each variable stands for. So let's actually, let's do number two first. Number two says, during a debate competition, the student council at Oak Ridge High School sold three different items at the concession stand from 9 a.m. to noon, donuts, coffee, and fruit. The revenue for each hour were $35, $34, and $33 in that order. During the first hour, they sold 10 donuts, five cups of coffee, 15 pieces of fruit. During the second hour, they sold 12 donuts, 10 cups of coffee, and two pieces of fruit. During the third and final hour, they sold nine donuts, five cups of coffee, and 14 pieces of fruit. Write three linear equations to find out how much of each item, sorry, to find out how much that shouldn't say up, to find out each, how much each item was sold for. Sorry, there's a typo and it was catching me off guard. Um, okay, so the first thing we wanna do, like I said, is um, decide what variables we wanna use and what they need to stand for. So we wanna know the cost of each item. How much did each item sell for? So we have three items, donuts, coffee, and fruit. So I'm gonna use a D, a C, and an F. And I don't wanna just write donuts, coffee, and fruit because we know the number of pieces that was sold for each one. We more specifically want to know the cost of each item. So I'm gonna just write donut cost, coffee cost, and fruit cost. Okay, so we're needing to come up with three equations and our three variables are D, C, and F. So I noticed in this particular problem, they gave us the total amount that was made each hour as well as the number of items sold each hour. So I'm gonna take those pieces of information and put them together in an equation. So first hour, we had 10 donuts, five cups of coffee, 15 pieces of fruit, and it says we made $35. So I'm going to say 10 times the cost of my donuts plus five times the co cost of my coffee plus 15 times the cost of my fruit needs to yield me a total profit of $35 in that first hour. Okay, similarly, in our second hour, we made $34. We sold 12 donuts, 10 cups of coffee, and two pieces of fruit. So I have 12D plus 10C plus 2F equals $34. And then I need to come up with an equation for my third hour. So third hour, we made $33. We sold nine donuts five cups of coffee and 14 pieces of fruit. So I have 9D plus 5C plus 14F equals $33. So that's all we're going to do in this part of the lesson. We're not going to actually solve our equations. We will take a look at solving in just a little bit. Okay, let me do one more with you. Okay, number four, this type of problem always seems to trick people and it's not meant to trick you. You just have to read carefully. Okay, Jarrett, Jordan, and JC are siblings. Jarrett is the oldest and JC is the youngest. The sum of the ages of the three siblings is 23. Jarrett's age is four more than twice JC's age. The difference between Jordan and JC's age is three years. Write a system of linear equations to find the ages of each of the children. Okay, so before we use the first letter of the item as our variable, 
Here, Jarrett, Jordan, and JC all start with J, so obviously we can't use that. So I'm just gonna go with the standard X, Y, and Z, and we are looking for their age. So X can be Jarrett's age, Y can be Jordan's age, and Z can be JC's age. Okay, so in the previous problem, we had it broken down hour by hour. We don't have that here. So I'm just gonna try to go sentence by sentence. Okay, first one that's gonna give us an equation is this one that says the sum is 23, the sum of the three siblings. Okay, sum means that we're going to add. So we have X plus Y plus Z equals 23. Our next sentence says Jarrett, so Jarrett is X, is four more than twice JC's age. So JC was our variable Z. Four more means that we're gonna add and twice means multiply by two. So we can say uh, Jarrett is, this word is, is your keyword for equals. So we say Jarrett is X equals four more than twice Z. So we have two times Z plus four because we want four more than twice JC. Then we're gonna come down here to our last sentence or our next sentence, I should say, the difference. So difference is a keyword for subtract. The difference between Jordan, who is Y, and JC, who is Z, is three years. So we have Jordan minus JC, Y minus Z equals three. Okay, so those are the only two examples I'm gonna do for these problems. You can go ahead and do the practice problems from these and then hop on to your next notes video and we will talk about how to set up a matrix, which is the tool that we're going to use to solve these problems on our calculator.